Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be factoring a polynomial, a quartic polynomial. This problem is from one of the regional math Olympiads in Russia. Let's get started. I'll be presenting two methods, so let me start with the first one. So first method is going to be a little more painful in my opinion, but you get to decide. I'm going to write this expression x to the fourth plus x squared plus square root of two times x plus two as a product of two quadratics. Now notice that the term with x cubed is missing. So that means we can write it as x squared plus ax plus one multiply by x squared minus ax plus two. Of course, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't always work. Uh, maybe it's not one times two, it's something else. But since this is factorable, we're looking for something nice. If one and two, positive one and positive two don't work, then I will try negative one and negative two because that's another option. So let's go ahead and distribute the right-hand side and let's see what we get from there. When you multiply, it's gonna give you x to the fourth power, and then minus ax cubed. Just go ahead and distribute everything. 2x squared plus ax cubed minus a squared x squared plus 2ax plus x squared minus ax plus 2. Let's simplify this. x cubed cancels out. That was expected. Now we have x to the fourth. 2x squared, this is 3x squared. And then I subtract minus a squared x squared. So it's going to look like this. And then I should look at the x terms. 2ax minus ax is just ax. And then I have plus 2 at the end. Now this expression is supposed to equal my original one, which is x to the fourth plus x squared plus root 2x plus 2. Now, if you equate the coefficients or set them equal to each other, you'll notice that this has to be, this has to be a one. Let's clean it up a little bit. So this is supposed to be a one. So this needs to be, okay. Let me go ahead and change it here. So this is supposed to be a one. And then the coefficient of X is supposed to be a root two the constants match and x to the fourth match. Okay, great. So now from here we get two equations. So kind of like a system, either three minus a squared, I mean not either, it's actually both. So that's an end. Three minus a squared needs to be one. This means a squared equals two and this means a is root two or negative root two. And the other equation gives us a equals root two so we can just say that a needs to be root 2. So that's the only solution we get from here. And that means that our expression can be factored. So x to the fourth, our original expression was x to the fourth plus x squared plus root 2x plus 2. And I assume that it, it's factorable as this. So I can just go ahead and replace the a with root 2. That's a positive 1. That's a positive root 2. So it's going to be x squared plus root 2x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus root 2x plus 2. And this concludes the first method. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Now obviously the second method is more elegant in my opinion and also nicer. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now for this method, I'm going to use what's called Sophie Germain's identity. For those of you who are not familiar with that, it looks like this. If you have something like x to the fourth plus four y to the fourth, this is factorable. You can just turn this into a perfect square by adding the appropriate term, and then you can just go from there. In this case, this would be four x squared y squared. You have to add and subtract, because what happens is this becomes x squared plus 2y squared quantity squared, and this is a perfect square. So we get difference of two squares, and it's just factorable that way. So this is really nice. You know that the sum of two squares cannot be factored if you're looking for rational or irrational coefficients, for in other words, real coefficients. But if you're looking for complex, that's a different story. But with the case of fourth powers, obviously you can also use the same method 
x to the fourth to you can apply the same method to x to the fourth plus y to the fourth if you don't worry about the coefficients being irrational. So this is also factorable in that sense. Let's go ahead and see how we can apply uh, this to our problem. So we have x to the fourth plus x squared plus square root of two times x plus two. So I'd like to take, I'd like to take the x to the fourth and add one to it. Now, why am I not adding a four? Because I have a two and I'm going to use the one and the one will be a leftover. And you'll see that it works that way. And obviously this is factorable because it fits x to the fourth plus one. And let's see what happens. So the rest of this expression is going to be x squared plus root two x plus one. Now let's not mess with the quadratic right now. Let's just go ahead and focus on the sum of two fourth powers. So instead of memorizing the formula, obviously for Sophie Germain, you can just go ahead and focus on how you can turn this into a perfect square. So I need to add, I need to add two x squared to this. So my goal is to make this a perfect square. And of course, I'm going to be, you know, just, I'm not just going to be adding and subtracting it. Well, I'm just going to add and subtract it. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to, I'm going to be adding two x squared and then subtracting it and then just leave this alone for now. Don't mix them up because I'm going to need that quadratic expression later. So now this part becomes a perfect square and you can write this as x squared plus one quantity squared. And this is minus two x squared and the rest is just gonna be as is. Now you might be thinking, what's the point about this? And remember, the idea is to turn this into a difference of two squares. So we can write the two x squared as root two x quantity squared. And this is where the problem kind of breaks down. Now I have a difference of two squares. So it's kind of like a squared minus b squared. And as you know, a squared minus b squared is factorable as a plus b times a minus b. So this can be factored into x squared plus one plus root two x multiplied by x squared plus one minus root two x. And the rest just follows. Now, obviously, this expression can also be written as x squared plus root 2x plus 1. And that kind of shows you that we have a common factor. It's better to write them in standard form so you can see better what's going on. And here we do get a common factor. And that common factor is x squared plus root 2x plus 1. It's this one. So if you pull that out, obviously, in this case, I'm going to multiply by 1. So we can just take it out x squared plus root 2x plus 1. And then from the first one, I'm getting x squared minus root 2x plus 1. And the second one just gives me a 1. So that's going to be plus 1. And when I write it in the final form, it is going to be, and remember our original expression, let's go ahead and write it down. And then we're going to write it all the way as a factored form. And it's going to look like this. My original expression was x to the fourth power plus x squared plus root 2x plus 2. And now we know that it's factorable into x squared plus root 2x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus root 2x plus 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think about both of the methods. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.